one thing we do know, Brendan Rodgers, who you worked under, headed back to Celtic. Um, and the other night, I'm afraid in Europe, they re- they were on the wrong end of a bit of a uh, a lesson uh, in Europe. They they were beaten by six goals to nil by Atletico Madrid. Ian Ladyman of the Mail is a is a, a a journalist I respect hugely. He said on Brendan, I didn't understand when he went back to Celtic in the summer, especially now Celtic crash and burn in Europe once more. I understand it even less. Were you surprised when Brendan, somebody you know very well, decided I'm going to go back to Celtic? Um, I always said, um, you know, do, Bruno always did like Celtic, you know, and, uh, you know, the way we left uh, to come to Leicester, I think he, he always had that on him, really. And I think when he had the chance to go back there and, uh, you know, to... To kind to, of make amends. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and see the guys there and... Uh, because they did like Brandon as well, a lot there, you know, and that's why I really went there because he loved that club. I have to, I have to say that, and he was always speaking really highly about um, about Celtic, you know. What did you think of your time there? Fantastic, fantastic. Honestly, Glasgow was great place, great place, and uh, the football was really good. We were playing really good football, and we we were in, in, invincible there as well. You know, we did a season out, you know, um, without losing a game there. Yeah, you know, which was uh, especially again. Color. Sorry, you've done it twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, f- you know, and I remember that uh, at the start of the season, there is a, a, a journalist who asked me, "Do you think you can do the invincible in in Celtic too?" And I said, "Yeah, there is a possibility." And uh, and, <laughs> and he was did. laughing. Yeah, he was laughing. You yeah. know, was, yeah. And then it happened. You know, and I was surprised again. I was like, wow, you know, we did it, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I'm like, okay. But we had a really good team. And Brandon is a really good manager. Um, very, uh, really good coach. Uh, he got good detail. Um, yeah. His organization is is really good. And he always did like um, uh, Celtic. And that's why he went back there, definitely. You know, I, I, few people could look at the clubs you've played for and think, well, that's hard to better as a footballer in a career Arsenal, Manchester City, Liverpool and Celtic it's incredible on Arsenal many Arsenal fans ask me to ask you Colo this lunchtime mm. what chance under Arteta do you give them of winning the Premier League or dare I ask the Champions League a lot of chance uh, because for me um, Arteta does an unbelievable job you know the way he's competing against uh, Pep Guardiola is incredible you know, Pep is a master, but you can see that he learned he learned very well on uh, on Pep. You know, and but he has his touch as well because I like his the way he's aggressive. You know, and he knows how to get the best from these young Arsenal players on the touchline. He's always he's playing. You know, when you see him, yeah. And I love that. I love that because you can see he keep them on the toe because he has young players. He need to make sure that they're consistent in the performance. And I think he's doing a great job. Edu, Edu doing a great job too as well, in my opinion, there. And, I've, you know, last season they were not uh, too far. You know, I think if they didn't manage the, the, the end of the season, especially the game home uh, against uh, uh, Man City, where I felt like they should have won that game. Mm. But, you know, uh, tactically they made a few mistakes, Just, unfortunately. Your, your other team, Man City, they're looking ominous now, now that they've moved to the top of the table. Yeah, Man City, we know, we know Man City, you know, and I think at the start of the season again, they always start season a little bit hard, uh, difficult, you know, because of pre-season and they did bring some few few players, Doku is a really good player, but he needed to adapt to the team and uh, they lost uh, Mares. Uh, I think for me, Kundogan was massive loss for me, in my opinion, for yeah. me is the... Was Top the player. best player last season, my Listen, opinion. Listen, you two yeah. invincibles and two former Arsenal defenders, Saliba and Gabriel. Yeah, how do you rate them? Um, two players with big, big qualities. I would say uh, their strength is power and speed. And uh, I, I will say that they play in a team where they all defend and attack together. And people talking about those two, but I feel like. Uh, Arteta find a way to uh, to make sure every player from Arsenal when they defend they all defend together the pressing high but everybody's getting contact They're both young though as well aren't they Saliba's yeah. 21 years of age yes. exactly yeah. he's young are, are these two Premier League champions in the making 
Um, yeah, they have the potential. They have the potential, definitely. It's interesting Desai hasn't come out and said that the Saliba not good enough, not playing well enough. I find that almost a- astonishing. That's what he's saying, isn't he? Yeah. Now, whether that's because that's a little bit of a hit on the French national team, hasn't done too much for the national team, but certainly for Arsenal, he's starting to look like a Rolls Royce. But that's why. That's what I mean. Yeah. You know, when when uh, when you have a team who's well organized, who work together, yeah, pressing, defending, the playing, yeah, there's a link between them. When you play for us, you play fantastic. But when you play for France, it's not the same. And that should the, the importance of playing with good players. I don't want to put you well. two in a downer before you go, Cole, or you, Martin, but there's uh, Jake, who's a Manchester City fan. Yeah, but we've got Erling Haaland. <laughs> <laughs> and they have. How would you have fancied defending against him? No, I think, you know, um, like I said, Manchester City, we know about Manchester City. We know what Manchester City are capable of doing. Yeah. And for me, I was, I was, uh, I played for Man City. I had unbelievable time there as well. And, you know, Alan is unbelievable player. And, and what Arsenal beat lo- them, didn't they, this season? What, and what they a lovely man. Well against him. Sure. Exactly. What a lovely man as well. You know, they have, uh, uh, Man City is the team to beat. We all know that. Colo, fantastic having you on board this lunchtime. Good luck. Um, I think you'll be back in management very soon I hope that you are in the meantime you're free to join us anytime you like in this studio loved it absolutely we will, will be thank a pleasure you, definitely thank two you very invincibles much. at the one time loving it Martin thank you so much Colo Turi and Martin Keown uh, uh, this lunchtime an absolute delight to deal with and of course Arsenal fans you've been loving it Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.